Ah yes, being a fan of an NFL team certainly has its ups and downs, and right now I'm only going to concentrate on the downs and hitting you while you are there. If you've seen my channel before, you already know that I like to throw barbs at teams either at their logos or their fan bases or both, and this video is just going to get straight to the point, and I'm about to trigger all 32 NFL fan bases by hitting them in the things I know are going to rustle a few jimmies. You're going to hate it when I roast your team? and love it when I roast your rival. Cover your genitals, folks. I'm hitting below the belt. Okay, let's lay down a few ground rules here. Every team is going to get roasted, including my beloved New York football giants. Each team will get three to four uncalled or jabs to the gut. You know, things and moments that piss fans of that team off, and then we move on. Some teams might get extra, but it will be because they deserve it people. I'm gonna kick this off with the Atlanta Falcons to give you a flavor of how this is going to go. Ah, uh, Falcons, I could just 28 to 3 this and call it a day, but that would be too easy. Remember that time Eugene Robinson solicited a prostitute the night before the Super Bowl? Yeah, you also traded Brett Favre. And of course guys, can't leave this play out. What? I mean, wow. Congrats, Falcons. You are now a meme. Also, your new stadium looks like a giant metallic prolapsed anus. You see how this is gonna go, folks? It's about to get worse. Ah, Chargers. You got blown the f*** out in Super Bowl 29, 49 to 26. You drafted this moron. You let this guy walk. And now your games have less attendees than a Westboro Baptist Church membership drive. Also, f*** you, Spanos. the Carolina Panthers. Hey Cam, remember that time when you made it to the biggest game of your life and gave up during it? Hey Cam, remember that time you said this? To hear a female talk about routes. Hey Cam, you weren't old enough, but remember that time Adam Vinatieri did this to your team? 41 yards. Looks good. Tennessee Titans. You used to be the Oilers and you let Frank Reich do this to you. Remember when your coach punched his offensive coordinator? To be fair, as a Giants fan, Kill Drive probably deserved it. Oh, and let's not forget, you came up one yard short. That, that, that hurts. Seattle Seahawks. Well, isn't this little post-game ran a lot less embarrassing now that you've taken the title of the league's social justice warrior outfit? How about all those years you sucked donkey balls and Congressman Steve Largent was your best player? And here's a dish that's hard to swallow. Ah, the Baltimore Ravens. How about some murder? Terrell Owens doing this to you. Billy Cundiff going wide right. And of course, you used to be the Browns. <laughs> the Browns. <laughs> Seriously though, I get why you left Cleveland. Arizona Cardinals. This rant by Denny now, Green. If you want to crown them, then crown their ass. You're the mathematically worst franchise in the NFL. Oh, and of course this. Uh, the Buffalo Bills, you will receive the full allotment of four jabs. Scott Norwood, losing to the Skins, losing to the Cowboys, losing to the Cowboys again. No wonder your fans do this for fun. Another 4L team, the Vikings. Gary Anderson misses a kick. Blair Walsh misses a kick. Favre throws an interception. You let Randy Moss go, and you lost four freaking Super Bowls. <laughs> The Miami Dolphins. You wasted Dan Marino's entire career, and this is how you ended it in a blowout loss to the Jags. The Jags. This play. Don Shula on the sideline and a rascal scooter. Are you kidding me? What is it? The Chicago Bears. The Super Bowl shuffle. Walter Payton rapping. They call me sweetness and I like to dance. Running the phone is like Mickey Moore, man. You started Rex Grossman in the Super Bowl. Rex? Grossman, and even in your biggest win, you couldn't get Sweetness his touchdown. Instead, you had to give it to this giant fat man. That's just embarrassing. The Steelers, when people say your quarterback looks like a rapist, well, he in fact is an alleged rapist. Bonus, he drove a bike through a windshield too. Remember all of those home AFC championship games you blew? And of course, your coach who has eyes bigger than a Furby somehow winding up on the field and tripping a player. That was Bush League. Hey, New Orleans Saints, remember that time you went 5-0? and oh, Missed the playoffs? I do. How about that time your absolutely nuts defensive coordinator paid his players to injure people and made this audio? We've got everything in the world to make sure we kill Frank Gore's 
Yeah. Oh, you're probably triggered on that. That that's not cool. The Jets. Here you go, people. The New York Jets select Johnny Mitchell, tight end, Nebraska. The New York Jets select tight end from Penn State, Kyle Brady. And this. Oh, Philadelphia, let's do some calisthenics in the driveway. Let's have Jason Seahorn do this to you in a playoff game. You booed Santa Claus. Let's have never won one single Super Bowl. Like, not even one, mostly because of moments like this. On your home field, too. Losers. The Raiders. You got screwed out of a deep playoff run over an obscure rule that doesn't even exist anymore. Barrett Robbins disappearing before the Super Bowl. And you drafted Purple Drank Russell with the number one overall pick. The Buccaneers. Let's see. Even though this has nothing to do with on-field play, these uniforms are disgusting. You started out 0-26. I'm going to put an early stoppage on this one. That That's, that's just not fair. 0-26. Effing Patriots. You were terrible forever, found yourself in a Super Bowl, and got wrecked like Khloe Kardashian's vag by the Bears. You let Eli Manning do this to you once. No, twice. And of course, all the gates. Hi there, Packers. Having a storied history doesn't stop me from bringing up the fact you draft steroid factory Tony Mandarich. How about the refs screwing you out of a trip to the Super Bowl in 1998? And let's not forget 4th and 26. To the Eagles! The Eagles! And how you ran Brett Favre out of town, but not before he did this. The Houston Texans. You signed Brock Osweiler for how much money? Brock Osweiler? It took you forever to make the playoffs? Like, forever. And David Carr got sacked into Bolivia his first two years, and you completely ruined him. The LA Rams. You drafted future murderer Lawrence Phillips. He beat the hell out of a woman and still played. You had a player kill a woman with his car and still played. Adam Vinatieri also did this to you. You moved to LA where nobody gives a damn about you. The Colts. This happened. We're talking about our idiot Peyton did this in the Super Bowl. And of course, your owner parties harder than Amanda Bynes and Tara Reid on a bender. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Jackie Smith trigger things much? Leon Lett pulling this crap? How about Romo doing this over and over again and letting Kyle Orton do it for old time's sake? How about letting T.O. do this to your star, signing them, and having him cry in a press conference? The Cincinnati Bungholes. Before you were Owen forever in the playoffs and Vontez Burfecht pulled this kind of stuff, you blew two Super Bowls and one of them in the last minute. And how about your well, coach Sam Weish on the mic telling your own fans to stop being field. pieces of crap? Point them out. Get them out of here. You don't live in Cleveland. Hello, 49ers. Remember when Roger Craig, that guy that never fumbles, did this? And that led to this? How about letting Steve Young almost get killed out there? Literally. And then two times, the ultimate social justice warrior screwed you guys over. And let this dude talk you. major crap after. Major, major, major crap. The Jaguars. You have been pretty much shit since you stepped in the league. Your uniforms have been horrible. You don't have any specific heartbreaking plays and big games because you've been to exactly one of them, which you lost. And also, one time your coach literally put a tree stump in the locker room and your kicker hurt himself on it. Washington. Your tone-deaf owner knows nothing about football and you can't fire him. Your best player of all time ended his career like this and pretty much so did Robert Griffin. You've been absolute dog shit since 1993, Dexter Manley couldn't read, and you signed Albert Hainsworth, and your team name is racist. Denver. Before LA sacked up in the 90s, you got beaten worse in the Super Bowl than Conor McGregor did in the 10th round. You drafted Tebow in the first round and made him your starter. <laughs> oh, and in the era where Super Bowls are supposed to be close, you started this one out like this, and somehow it got worse from there. The Detroit Lions saying the name should be enough, but you know, 0-16. Your two greatest players in your history just up and quit. And of course, Matt Millen. Matt freaking Millen. The Kansas City Chiefs collapsing in the 2013 wildcard game. Welcome to the Andy Reid era. You blew playoff games you should have won in the 90s. And you haven't been to the Super Bowl since 1970 
and you passed on Jim Kelly and Dan Marino for Todd Blackledge. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Come come sit down over here with me. I'd say I'm triggering you, but really, you, you aren't triggered. No, you just exist now. But since we're on the subject, let's do it. The QB jersey, the QB graveyard, your last playoff game, this happened, this blocked field goal, every Sunday feeling like a bad M. Night Shyamalan movie, and of course, the fumble. It's cool though, having LeBron somehow makes up for this. And lastly, the team I saved for last, and certainly not the least, the New York Giants, the team I love. <sighs> Giants fans, let's see, they blew one of the biggest leads in playoff history to Jeff Garcia and the Niners. Deshaun Jackson did this to us. LT loved cocaine. Dave Brown was our quarterback. Dave freaking Brown. We got destroyed by the Ravens in the Super Bowl. Right after we got back into the game, they immediately did this to us. Plexico Burris shot himself. Ray freaking Handley. And of course, I don't think it gets any worse than this. They lost a game where all they had to do was kneel it out and it ended up going back for a touchdown to the Eagles. The Eagles, goddammit. The Eagles. Well, I hope nobody is happy now. I think I'll have to go play some GTA 5 and beat up a couple strangers. I'm so angry with myself. Who the hell thought this would be fun? Speaking of fun, don't forget to download FanDuel and enter in the code TOUCHDOWN87 and get in on that sweet, sweet fantasy action that can win you some real money. And don't forget to leave a like, comment your comebacks, and subscribe because I'm probably gonna do this for all the NBA teams next. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to the end of this video.